Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. Last time we heard something about Repulsion Gel. <clears throat> Not a clue what that is. We're here in what looks like Chamber 9, I guess? And, um... Chamber 4 is there, so we have to... I guess work our way through all this stuff. This should be interesting. Gel flow. It's blue. This is what I'm guessing. Blue gel. I could be wrong. Could be orange or something else. Anyways, let's see here. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an aperture science portable quantum tunneling device. Tunneling? Huh. They didn't call it a portal device, apparently. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Looks pretty much like the portal gun. I suppose a little bit different, but um, this should be interesting. Another cancer grid. Awesome. Just what I didn't want. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a. <laughs> uh, a dietetic pudding substitute. Wow. Oh my god. This doesn't sound healthy. It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of the dieter's di distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons this product was pulled from the shelves. Yeah, it was just like puking up your lunch. Jeez. Aperture science fact placard Repulsion gel. Let's see what we got down here. For more information, consult the following fact placards. Alright, repulsion gel lawsuit concerning. Wow. And public outage over. <laughs> public outage. I can only imagine. Let's see here. So it's, it's bouncy. And it is blue. Oh, wow. Wow. That's that's pretty neat, actually. That's um very neat, actually. Caution. It's like um another another box thing. So we got a wall here and it's like something up here. What is this? Oh wow. It's like a really old version of the uh the whole box puzzle. It even glows, too. Alright, so there's the exit. And there's a button over there. I bet you just, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is pretty neat. Hold control to prevent bouncing. Why would I want to do that? Alright, so that should give me a box. Which, um, is going that way. Okay. I can deal with that. Hello, box. You look, um, slightly wooden and less weighted cuby. A little bit different. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. Boing! The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. Okay. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. <laughs> that gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> I think you're gonna get sued, Cave Johnson. I think you already did get sued. Next chest chamber is that way. Okay, well... We're gonna need to figure out a way to get across there, then. Let's see, we got a wall here. Um, hmm. I think I can hit that. 
right? Well, I got this. But, um... To figure out where to put another portal. Up there, maybe? Mm, nope. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Alright. Uh, oh! Hi! Perfect. Looks good to me. Alright, let's see here. Just uh, fall down here, I guess. And we're at the next test chamber. Guessing this is another fall. Yes, indeed. Let's go find some more bounce. Test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. Okay. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. What? Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Um. What? Why? Why would you even do that? Wow. This stuff is really bouncy. Anyway, let's get up here. Let's see what's going on. Looks like we got some um, button of sorts. What does that do? Oh, is that um, something to put a portal on? Indeed it is. But we need a box. We definitely need a box, and that looks like a box. Looks like a box indeed. Um, why did I just go down? I have no idea. Whatever. Whoa. That was lucky. Alright, box. Oh. Um, that was interesting. Unexpected, but interesting. Put that up there. Put one of those there. And... Hop on through. Give me that. Alright, now we have this. So I imagine we can uh, do some bouncing straight into that. Whee! Well, that's interesting. What's that do? Oh, um, another one. Okay. Okay, so, um,. Supposed to bounce even higher, I guess. Wow, bounce off the walls? Is that what you want me to do? Let's see here. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. That is really awesome. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. A random hole in the floor. Looks dangerous. All right, we sweet, and we'll put one of you up here. Whoops! Try that again. Hop on down here, and here we go. We oh boy, this is not gonna make it, is it? I don't think I'm moving fast enough for this, but let's try anyway. Oh, uh, oh uh, not quite. Didn't make it. All right. Well, let's do that again, I guess. Okay, I need to get a running start, more or less. There we go. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. <laughs> we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this: it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Shouldn't you have maybe said that before I went in there? You know? I don't know. God, why do they have all these cancer grids? I mean, look, they, they even wanted to put tumors on you when you were sitting in a chair. Uh, I finally figured it out. They're trying to give you tumors on purpose.
All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps oh. out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. Wow. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Does it really? Alright, um... Where are we off to now? Up there, maybe? No? Hmm. Yes, down here. Let's see. Got something over there. But, um, do I have anything down here to go into? Hmm. No, but it does look like I can walk across here. More or less. That'll work. Alright. Where are we heading off to? That. Anything? No? Where the hell do you want me to go? It's like you're trying to make me jump to something, but... Are you trying to make me jump to that? Hmm. Don't know about this. That's not gonna work. Too far away. something up there? Indeed it is. Let's go see what's upstairs. Alright. Is this so I can do a jump or something? Is that what we're getting at here? Hmm. Or just in there. That works for me. Ah! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Yep. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> wow. Alright. What did that do? Oh. It's, um... It's blasting globs. Interesting. I'll be right back in a second. And we are back again. Let's see here. What are we gonna do with this blue globby stuff? Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Hmm. Is it like... Not quite on there? I guess not. Yeah, there we go. That's working better. Boink. All right. Well, um, let's throw some stuff out there. Cool. Um, I guess that's it for now. All right. Where are we going? Oh my. This, um... Wow. So are you saying you want me to... put some stuff down there? Is that what we're, um... what we're going about doing? Or, uh... something else? Let's see here. Can I put anything there? Yep. Let put some here, a little there. All right, let's see what we can do with this. We 
Alright. Now we're up here. We can uh, put a portal here, I guess. Um, and uh, fall down onto it, I guess. Whee! Yep. Need a little more than that. I see. I understand. Makes perfect sense to me. A little bit there. A little bit there. And that should do it. Perfect. Let's go. Whee! Nice. Heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track um. the neuronal activity in your brain. Wow. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking Fantastic. about it. Fantastic. serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Sweet. Good thing I didn't drink it. I haven't drank anything this entire time. I must be getting thirsty.